I did a little Q&A on Instagram and I was kind of, <coughs> oh my God, I need water. I haven't had a sip of water yet today <coughs> or coffee. I need that too. I was surprised at how many people were asking if my new office space was in my house or if it was off site. So I thought that was very interesting. I decided that I would do an office tour today of this one small room, which is my office. I am getting a haircut after everyone on Instagram has been peer pressuring me. I am gonna be getting a haircut next week. I put in this new like mousse that I got that was recommended to me to like help with frizziness. So I washed my hair last night and then I put that in. The only problem is I went to bed with my hair a little bit wet, which is why it's kind of messy, curly, but it is like a lot wavier than it usually is. Like it's holding some nice curl. I'll show you guys what it is. Actually, if you wanna see, it's Tresemme something or other in case you're wondering. <laughs> So I think if I had got like let it completely air dry slash if I used a diffuser, a diffuser would actually be the key. They actually recommend on the bottle to use a diffuser. I am just really lazy and didn't. I just got this on Amazon and my photographer, Leanne, actually recommended it to me. It's just this Tresemme. It's called like Flawless Curls All Day Humidity Resistance. It's getting a lot warmer in Canada, which has its pros and cons. I love the heat, I love when it's warm. Cons, I can't sleep as well because we live in an apartment and they don't turn the air conditioning on until like May, end of May, sometimes June. So even though it's 20 degrees outside, there's no air conditioning and we just sweat, which makes it very difficult to sleep. But you know what? I'm fine, I'm happy it's getting warmer. It's finally shorts weather, you can put see this, but I'm finally in sweat shorts instead of sweat pants. Hey, I'm having a different flavor today because we're gonna do some milk today. We are gonna have one of these guys. Ah! So this is Bianco Forte. I think I've definitely shown this before. I just, I don't remember what things I filmed. This is my favorite oat milk easily. Easy to steam, foams like a dream. Chemtrails over the country club. Until Ray has a new album out, if you haven't heard it yet. What are you doing? I got these pink glasses from Ikea. They were $1.50. I got two of them and they're so cute. I don't really have a purpose. I put my coffee in them yesterday, but then you couldn't really tell that they were pink. So, I don't know, I just really like them and they were $1.50. Mm -hmm. to be our storage room, I guess you could say. We had all our Christmas decorations in here, like our tree and everything was in here. There was a spare bed in here. It was just a junk room. There was stuff everywhere. You like couldn't even see the floor at one point. So I cleared everything out and transformed it with the help of my mom, who is an interior designer. Mm. We painted the walls. <clears throat> they used to be yellow or something. Now they are called white wisp. It's like a, it's a super, super, super light gray. It's not like pure white. Now, sometimes I do notice in here because my light bulb up there has a little bit of a yellow that it looks a little bit more yellow in here. But if this room had natural light, it would be beautiful. There's just no windows in here. Here is the office. You walk in. Oh, sorry. My tripod is hitting things. Workout stuff is all back here. And then this is the corner that I work in. So this is where I'm standing every day, right here, at my lovely standing desk. I got this from Ikea. Now this has like a hand crank in here. So you literally hand crank it to change the height, which is just archaic and everybody always makes fun of me for it. 
but I don't care because I don't move my desk. This desk stays up. I have no chair. There's no room for a chair in here. It is just a standing area. I have a rug down here. I'll show you guys that in a second. If I want to sit down, I just walk into the other room and sit at the table. Here's the little rug down there. I've had this rug for so long. I think this is just from Ikea too. I love it. It's just like a nice soft rug, perfect for me to stand on all day. Then under here, I have a little filing cabinet. So I just keep like all my files and such, you know, it's just a filing cabinet. That's just from Staples. And then over here, I kind of made like a little L-shaped desk with this little table. So this is my boyfriend's, it's old. I have no idea where it's from. Sorry about that, it's just like a little dresser thing. So I have like night swim samples in here. Actually this entire thing is full of night swim samples. <laughs> but I love it because it just gives me this little like corner desk. On my desk, I have a massive screen and I love it. I just got this on Amazon, it's by the brand BenQ and it's been great. I'll link it for you guys below. So it's just a display monitor. That's all it is, just displays what's on my computer. I have a little keyboard here. I think my dad might've gotten this for Christmas for me, but it is from Amazon. Also got this little, what is this called? Laptop stand. Got this on Amazon as well. Yeah, a lot of stuff is Amazon Prime. And then over here, I just have my mouse, which I got from, guess where? Amazon. I have my cute little Grogu. <laughs> my boyfriend got this for me. That is my main desk here. And then over here to the side, ooh, I need to light my candle. This candle smells so good, very springy. It actually smells like peaches. I have this little mug full of all my pens and markers from the dollar store. And then I also have these little whiteboard markers because I do have a whiteboard right there in case I wanna write out workouts and a little whiteboard eraser. Guess where I got those? Amazon. And these mugs, we just had them already. It's like a little pouring thing, but we never use this. So that was perfect. I have a little notebook here and a notebook here. This one is where I make my everyday to-do list. If you watch my last TikTok, I show you how I make my to-do list. So, you know, follow me on uh, TikTok. Ooh, qu'est-ce que c'est? <laughs> Little Night Swim Club cases. These cases, we will be giving them away for free. And they're very good. They're environmentally friendly. They're made from like a bamboo. They're compostable, like they can compost. So they're really great for the environment. They're not plastic. It's great. So we're gonna be giving those away for free. So make sure you're following Night Swim on Instagram so you can figure out how to get some of those. Anyways, don't mind that little plug. So I have two little body candles back here. Taller one, the pink one here is from Bare Naked Candles. And then this little cutie here, she is from Lily and Company, which is where I get a lot of my candles from. Oh, and this one is from North Aroma Co. Those are the three places I get candles from basically, and that's kind of it. I have another little body candle here. This is another one from Lily and Co. And then I have this cool piece of art. I found this guy on Instagram. I think his name is like Dustin something, but I just loved his style. I thought his art was so cool. So I bought this a while ago. It was just sitting at my parents' house. I didn't really have anywhere to put it. And I figured it looked kind of cute in here. So this is my little, ow! I just stepped on the tripod. And then over here, this is where I film like all of my workouts. If I'm working out from home, I'll do it in here or I'll bring everything into the main room. And then I have these two studio lights because sometimes it looks a bit dark in here, especially on my phone, on my camera. I can increase the brightness a lot easier. These, I just got these on Amazon, of course, but they're just newer. Back here is my little mini gym thing. Mini home gym. First laid this giant mat that I'm sitting on right now. This I get so many questions on and this is from Canadian Tire. Now, this is not a yoga mat. This mat is meant to be under gym equipment. So if you have like a bike or something like that that you have at your house, a treadmill, that's what this mat is for. It's meant to go under that. This mat is not great. It's not, it's very slippery. Like the texture of it is slippery. It's not grippy like a yoga mat. I also had to buy some of this stuff. So this is what you usually put under carpets so that carpets don't slip because this mat was sliding everywhere on the floor. Like I would do a burpee and almost fall on my ass every time because the mat would be shifting around everywhere on the floor. It was very annoying. Quick fix, got this on Amazon. A giant piece of this like sticky stuff that you put under carpets 
and it has completely fixed the problem. So the mat no longer shifts underneath. It's just if I'm wearing socks or something on here, I am going to slide on the top, but the mat does stay in place on the floor now. Moving on to the equipment back here. So right here, I have this barbell and I bought this directly from Rogue. It is a little bit pricey. It was like $500, like it was up there, but I wanted something really good quality that will last me forever. Over here in the corner, I have a stack of plates. All of these plates are from Rogue. You can get cheap plates, cheap barbells on like Amazon, but they're probably not gonna last you. I just really wanted to invest in equipment that I can continue to use forever. I have two 45s down here, I have two 25s, and then I have four 10s. My newest addition to my little home gym is these dumbbells right here. I got those from Tidax, which is actually a Canadian company, I believe. If you are looking for barbells and plates, Tidax is a great option too. They have really good stuff, but I just grabbed these 25 pound dumbbells because before that, all I've ever had was these 10 pounders and it's very hard to do any sort of like leg movement with 10 pounds. It's just, I can't really do it. The price of dumbbells makes me want to cry. Over here, I just have some ooh, medicine balls for some reason. I haven't even used these yet. I bought these when we were in quarantine because I was like, oh, this is great. I can use these for so many things. I can like squat with them. I can do like ball slams with them, but it's fine. I will find a use for them. I'm probably gonna film an entire like medicine ball workout, which you guys at home, you can do if you have a sack of potatoes, same thing. So I have a 20 pound ball here. This one's 20 pounds. And this one I believe is 35. Those are both from Tidax as well. And then I have a weight vest. Oh, it's heavy. This is, well, it's not that heavy. It's like 14 pounds. So this is just a little super cheap weight vest. It's from this brand called Synergy. You can see that up there. So it's just like a really cheap little weight vest for if I want to do a little weight vest workout. So to make a workout a little bit harder, Back here, I just have these giant mats. So these are super, super thick. They have handles here. Now these are crash mats or crash pads. So we do live in an apartment, so we don't want to be slamming barbells into the ground. So if we're doing like cleans or something, we can just drop the weight directly onto these mats and it makes no noise. They're kind of heavy. They're like 25 pounds each or something like that. But this is where they're from. Just a nice, big, thick, crash pad. I do have a plain black yoga mat that all the equipment is sitting on back here, which people always, always ask me about. And that's my mom's old yoga mat. Like, I don't even know where it's from. And then the other question I get a lot is about this mirror. This massive mirror. Ow. I just stubbed my toe on the barbell. That hurts so much. Anyways, this giant mirror is just for my parents. They redid it at one of their bathrooms. This is the mirror that the house had when it was built. So it's just a big slab of mirror. That is my little gym tour. I gym office, home office slash gym tour, I guess. Oh, also my whiteboard is from Amazon. If you're doubting where anything's from, it's probably from Amazon. I am going to tan. So I figured I would kind of show you what I do. Do I usually wear a bikini when I'm tanning? No, not sponsored, but they did send this to me. I feel like everyone and their mom uses Loving Tan, but it works. These are the two that I use. So we have one that takes six hours. So the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. This is in ultra dark. So this one takes a little bit longer to sit. And because it's already 10 in the morning, I'm not gonna have time to use this. So I'm gonna use this one today. So this is the two hour express one. This one is in dark, I think. Yeah, the two hour express is definitely my favorite. So if you're just gonna get one, go for the two hour express. It's so much more convenient. I don't have much of a process when it comes to tanning. I'm not too specific or anything. I do start with my legs. I kind of avoid my feet because I'm always wearing socks and like running shoes. So there isn't really a point in me doing my feet. They end up just being um, 
pale. And then my hands are, I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. I could take time to do my hands nicely, but I end up literally just going like this. And my hands are usually a disaster, but I just don't care. So you pump the tan onto the mitt, which I'm sure you guys probably know. I like to put a decent amount. And then I start with my calves, go up my legs. Sometimes I'll avoid my butt. Like my butt is actually very pasty right now because there's no point in doing my butt because I'm not wearing a bikini. Um, the only reason I'm putting self tan on is really because when I'm filming workout videos, I don't like to be literally see-through. Putting things on my body kind of scares me because you just don't really know what's in it. I don't know, it just kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> Yet here I am lathering it onto my skin and whatever you put on your skin, sinks into your body. So that also makes me uncomfortable, yet here we are. I'm still doing it. My confidence is just so much higher when I look like I'm not dying. And when I'm super pasty, I look like I'm dying. Like I will literally get people asking if I'm okay, if I'm sick. So I only do one coat. I do have some leftover tan on right now. You can probably already tell the difference in my little leggies, but it does develop over the two hours and gets a little bit darker and you do have to wash it off before you put clothes on. I have made the mistake many a time of being like, oh my goodness, my tan looks so good. I'm not even gonna wash it off. I'm just gonna put my gym clothes on and it does transfer onto clothes a thousand percent if you don't rinse it first. So I do have some gym clothes that have tan all along the inside of the shorts, all in the sports bra, especially if you're a sweater like me there will be tan all over your clothes. Don't skip the rinsing tan off part. It stains, it stains for sure. Rinse your tan. What I usually wear when I'm letting my tan develop is a, I actually have it right here. This robe, as you can probably see, the inside of it has like tan on it because this is my tanning robe. So every time I put self tan on, I just toss that robe on and I don't have to worry about getting any of my clothes all covered in tan. That robe is from Caraloha, by the way, which I do have a 20% off discount code and you can get these towels, the robes. I don't get anything from that. It's just a little code to help you guys out. Well, I literally hate tanning. I hate doing this. I hate this process, but I love the result. I always have this other hand like clawing <laughs> while I'm putting this on. Like my legs are already looking so much better. Yeah. I also kind of like avoid this area because there's no point like getting tan in my crevices if I'm just wearing shorts. Like I just kind of avoid this entire area. Like there's no point in wasting tan here. I'm probably gonna finish this off camera because wearing my swimsuit is stressing me out. I feel like I'm going to get tan on it and ruin it. And we don't want that in case you're wondering, this swimsuit is from Night Swimwear. Khaleesi top, angel bottom. I'm gonna get naked now, so you guys, I've gotta go. <laughs> that first day, so today, the day that I put the tan on, even after rinsing it off, I will still only wear dark colors. So when I go to the gym tonight, I'll probably just wear black, just in case, because it just is that first rinse off. Just in case I missed any areas while I was rinsing everything off, I will wear black for the rest of the day, just in case, like I'm not gonna go put on a white sports bra today because some of the tan will probably still transfer. Even tomorrow, I tend to kind of lean towards darker colors. Can you see how my back is like literally white in the middle? In that middle area, the area I can't reach. This is because my boyfriend's at work and he can't help me. And I usually just leave it white because I can't reach it. That's my tanning process. Um, it's probably the same as every single other person's tanning process that you've ever seen. Snack time. I love hummus. This is just a plain one. I usually like the jalapeno hummus. That's so good, but I just get two tubs of this from Costco whenever I go. These are also from Costco, absolutely obsessed. And then of course, my daily Alani Fit Shake. I'm so stressed. This whole night swim sweatsuit situation is literally making me want to throw up every day. I literally feel nauseous from the moment I wake up until I go to bed. Basically, we decided to launch our sweatsuits before the sweatsuits were actually at the distribution center because we were promised a delivery date 
I paid for shipping and they said, this is your delivery day, it's March 8th. So we're like, okay, perfect. We'll launch March 10th. Everything should be there by then. So I should have known that shipping is just always a disaster. Always, always a disaster. Shipping is just the biggest headache of my entire life. If you're a small business owner, you will know that shipping is the absolute worst thing. Whether you're ordering products, whether you're shipping products to customers, shipping carriers all suck. Their communication's horrible. There's always delays, always problems, especially with COVID, everything's just been 10 times worse. So basically our shipping container is not here. It switched boats at one point, even though it wasn't supposed to. So I've been tracking down the ship all morning, like trying to locate exactly where the ship is. And I think I have found the correct ship. It is in the North Atlantic Ocean. So that's where your sweatsuits are in case you're wondering. I could cry. It says that this boat is going to be here by the end of the month. So I'm hoping you guys will all have your orders by the first week of April, at least in Canada, because the shipping in Canada is quite fast from the distribution facility. Once everything arrives there, it'll be shipped immediately that day. Canada, you guys should at least have yours by the first week of April. US, I'm hoping for second week of April, because we are now shipping with DHL, with international and US orders instead of Canada Post USPS. So, Hoping that speeds things up. I'm so freaking sorry. Like there's literally nothing I can even say. It's just inexcusable. And I have learned my lesson to never ever listen to shipping carriers and manufacturers when they tell you that this is the date things will be here. It is never right. It is never accurate. I've learned my lesson. It will never ever happen again. I'm sorry from the bottom of my freaking heart. And I love all of you who have ordered your sweatsuits. I cannot wait to see all your pictures. I'm so excited. But I felt like I had to talk about it here. I've addressed it on Instagram. I think I'm gonna send an email and everything to the email list as well. I will keep you guys completely updated. The way I want to run Night Swim is to be completely open and transparent with you guys. If you have questions, please email me. Please email customer service. We are happy to tell you the honest truth of everything that's going on. So there's that. So I have to go work out in like an hour. So I'm just having a little snack right now. Just a little cliff bar. These are not the healthiest. They're not really healthy at all. <laughs> it's a good little hit of carbs before a workout. Mmm. To-do list is almost complete for the day. I have one more thing on there out of my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items that I had on here to do today. Down to one left. I'm definitely like almost done marinating. I didn't do the best job. I need to like show you my feet compared to my legs that so you can see how tan I actually am. Check it out. Look at my leg compared to my foot. It will be like a shade lighter once I wash it off. Okay, tan is officially washed off. So this is my final little color. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but I definitely feel like I have a nice little glow. But again, I am wearing all black alphalete. Both of these are actually in stock right now. So, just saying, wearing a size small, size extra small. So I think I might actually wrap this video up here. The rest of the day, I will just be going to the gym, hitting my workout, coming home, making dinner, and that's that. And I will see you guys in the next one.